We're going to show you now how to do some sprouting in an uh, Easy Green Sprouter. This is a wonderful automatic sprouter. I've been using this sprouter for several years now. And you can grow any kind of sprouts in the sprouter. You can do it with soil or without soil. And everything is automatic. It's uh, so easy to use. And we do a lot of sprouts with this machine, mm -hmm. don't we? Mm -hmm. So we have a bunch of different sprouts here that we're just going to put into the sprouter. And we'll show you. Uh, how you go about putting those in. So we'll just take these trays out. A lot of people, they're only used to going into the grocery store and seeing maybe broccoli sprouts or alfalfa sprouts. Are there other kinds of sprouts? Huh? There's lots of sprouts and we're going to be doing a class on sprouting. Oh, you will yeah. get to learn all about the different sprouts. So here we have broccoli. So we're going to put uh, just in this sprouter, well, we've got a few going all over here, but... We thought we'd plant a few outside of the containers just to see if they grow. So we're just going to put enough in here just to make a little bit of a layer on the bottom of the tray. And sort of even them out there a little bit. So you just basically, with this sprouter, we're just going to have a little layer roughly like that. And maybe I'll let you put them back in. Yeah, oh, careful. Now we've tried other automatic sprouters, haven't we? Oh yes. Yes, yep. we've tried the fresh green. Uh, used that one for a number of years as well. That's another automatic sprouter that. I think Jeannie qualifies as a sprout professional. <laughs> Without soil even. Well, it's definitely one of my passions for sure. Here we've got green kale and in earlier recipes there we showed you how to make kale chips and the green kale is loaded with nutrition. When it sprouts the um, nutrients as you will see in the sprouting class mm -hmm. explode. So that one can go into our sprouter. So we're just putting a layer in the bottom of each of these uh, trays here. So we've got the broccoli, the kale. We're going to put radish. This is uh, this is daikon radish. Now radish, uh, they're going to grow a little bit faster than the broccoli and the kale. In the sprouter here, the broccoli and the kale will take uh, approximately seven days, depending on how how big you want them to get. But I usually plan on about seven days. The bigger seeds, uh, like the radish here, they will grow quicker. That will take uh, approximately three or four days, again, depending on how large you want them to get. And they're quite hot, so when you yep. make your radish sprouts, you want to plan to just use them uh, sparingly in a salad mm -hmm. or something like that, or in sandwiches, you just kind of sprinkle them through. Um, if you want to think about broccoli sprouts for a bit here, uh, broccoli sprouts, broccoli is the highest silicon sulfur containing food on the planet. A good blend of silicon and sulfur. And why is that so exciting? Well, I'll tell you what, if you've got enough sulfur in your system, it's very hard to have a pimple. It's very good for your skin, the silicon and the sulfur. So these sprouts are loaded. And they'll learn all about broccoli when we do mm -hmm. our sprouting class. Here we've got alfalfa. These are tiny little seeds, which again are going to take approximately seven days. And then this is a mix. This is called Ancient Eastern Blend. This is one of my favorite mixes. Uh, this has several different seeds in here. It's a blend of fenugreek, lentils, kamut, and mung bean. And uh, you really like the fenugreek, don't you? Well, the fenugreek uh, smells like those Girl Guide cookies that they used to sell with the maple, the maple cookie, the maple leaf. That's what it smells like. It makes me hungry. So he loves the smell of those. <laughs> Fenugreek is a little bit strong and it's not normally one that I sprout all uh, by itself just because it is strong. Mm, and the benefits are enormous. Judy's going to share that with you when she does her uh, the class. sprouting class. 
tremendous. But it's wonderful when you mix it into a mix like this. I can smell it already. Smell Th it. This is Girl Guide cookies. There's just no doubt about it. Okay, so that's the Ancient Eastern Blend. So that one can go in our sprouter. And we're going to get that sprouter plugged in and get it started. The nice thing with this sprouter, what it's going to do is just draw water up. It's going to miss those sprouts and it has a timer. So you can set the timer for as often as you want that to mist. And uh, you can basically uh, just let those and sprout th away. This one doesn't use the same water over and over again, does no, it? No, it, it has the fresh reservoir. water every time. That's right. It has the fresh water That's reservoir nice. in the back. Okay, so we're going to put the cover on this and we're going to plug that in and get it started sprouting. Okay, this is the timer. I just want to show you how the timer works on this sprouter. Every, it has a little, sort of a little plastic lever that pulls down for where you want to set the timer uh, to start the sprouter. So what you're going to do is pull that down every three hours or however often you want that to mist, all the way around you're going to pull that down. Usually what I will do is pull a double one down at one point, uh, somewhere around there, so that it can come on for a little bit longer of a, of a mist. So I'll pull down a double one, and that will give it um, uh, a double time of misting. But th there again, you can set this for as often as you want that to mist. If you're in an area where the weather is very hot and dry, you may want to miss that every couple hours or mm -hmm. even more often. Uh, it may need to miss sooner. Or if you're in an area where it is cooler, you may need to uh, have it less often. So this is the timer and it just works by pulling those little levers down uh, as often as you want that timer to come on and mist. And it just plugs into the wall that just and plugs then you in. plug your machine into this. That's right. right. Yeah, and the, the sprouter will come on every time it comes to one of those little notches. It'll come on and start setting the water through to, to cover all the seeds. Then when it gets past that little notch, the water shuts off and it just waits that while, 15, 20 minutes, an hour, two hours. Then it comes on again when it hits the next notch and just does it for whatever time. If you wanted more time, you can set down more notches to water it more. But usually just one notch is, is enough to keep it moist.